Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Bear of Carthage here. Yes, bear, you heard me right. There's plenty of bears in this campaign. There's no shortage of sled and there is no shortage of dead. Well, at least when it comes to our enemies, hopefully not for us. Yes, I am back. Sorry, the videos were a little bit slim this week. I was very busy with work and I was also having to get a lot of stuff done outside of work because I took my boys on a camp out over the weekend. I haven't taken them on much and realized that I was failing as a father, not taking my boys to camp. So I took them to camp. We had a great time and I am back and going to try and get back into things. Throg wants peace, which means that we should continue to destroy them. Um, of course, when they beg for peace, it means they're weak. So yeah, no bears at the camp, by the way, which is good. I prefer it that way. I prefer my bears to be here in the Kislev campaign and uh, not on my camp outs. That would, that would, that's a big no thanks for me. Um, <laughs> let's take Boris. And Boris has this huge bear army now, which, by the way, I'm absolutely loving. Also, thanks for the names. I did add some names in. And we just achieved a short victory, which kind of means that we're where we need to be. But um, let's go ahead and confederate the Great Orthodoxy. That immediately put me into the negative because they probably have so many armies. Let's see how we can consolidate things. Ooh, sorry, I'm trying not to sneeze. And I did sneeze, but that's okay. I'm back now, but I muted the microphone so that hopefully you all didn't have to endure that. Um, let's see what we got. We got a Drusina there. Boyar. We got a lot of cool units here. We even have some Griffin Legion, um, which we were going to use some Griffin Legion in this army. I might ferry some of that Griffin Legion over to that army to save myself the recruitment cost because we have multiple units of it. Of I think what I'm going to do... We've got these Frost Maidens and stuff too that I just don't need right now, nor Bear Riders. Streltsy. Let's bring some of these armies together. I can afford to lose some money for at least one turn. And we'll try and get some of these units together here. My natural domain. And I want to keep the good units and get rid of the others. Uh, there's actually, I don't think there's anything I really need to switch here. Um, I will. Patriarch We've got so many patriarchs now, too. Only I, I guess we could go double. I mean, triple patriarch here. I mean, why not? Triple patriarch. Folks, we're going to need some names for the patriarch and the frost maiden. So we got two patriarchs and a frost maiden. You're going to need a name in Castalton's army. And for Castalton's army, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I'm going to just like hodgepodge some stuff together for him. And if you all have some ideas for what you want to see in his army, please let me know. And I will make it happen. Let's look at the special buildings he picked up here. So income from all buildings, local regions. We picked up tariffs. We've got the frost horn too here, which... Wow, that drops upkeep for sleds and Grom units in all armies. That is really cool. We're going to keep that. And immune to sea and reef attrition and melee plus 10. We're fighting at sea. That's kind of cool. We have the bear recruitment building here. We have the Griffin Legion recruiting. I don't need the Griffin Legion recruiting. I can change that for some income. I can change this building here as well. Then we've got access to Ice Guard, which is good stuff. Castle Alexandrov um, at Fort Ostrosk. Might be good to have a little bit of recruiting. I don't think we need the sled building here. I think we have too many of the church buildings here. Let's tear that one down and maybe, well, we're going to need a little bit of control against chaos. But I also need more income from these settlements, but we're not going to have picked up much. As far as territory, and we're going to have to defend over here. But we really just need one army ultimately over here. And I'm going to ferry the Griffin Legion across here. So I'll be able to reduce my upkeep here shortly. Um, so we are going to lose some money on this turn. Like I said, I think that's fine. I'm not super worried about it. I'm going to go over here to the River Lynx. I always forget to look at my Boyar. And uh, I guess we're just going to have an anti anti-corruption effect. Actually, probably not a bad idea because we're up against so many enemies here. Now, someone was mentioning that there are buildings that we can do with our trade goods that help us out. Um, 
Currency exchange is the C. Where is the call to prayer customs? Like I'm trying to gospel our lure festivals. Global recruitment capacity plus two would be helpful. Someone was saying that there was uh, research for, yeah, like right here, leather. Well, leather treatment I thought would be that. I don't see any stuff for our buildings, like our trade buildings. If I'm missing something, let me know in here. Someone had mentioned it, but I don't I don't see it in this specific one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, which one was I looking at? Uh, this global recruitment capacity. A gift. I think that'll be potentially useful as we move in. Um, we have a garrison force not move. So that is Arena Katarin who can continue her fight. We're going to end up with some attrition if we go in here without being in an encamped stance. I don't want that. Um, we're going to have to take Rakadrak back here, but let's go ahead and knock out everything we can in front of us. Um, get a little extra control there. And then we need to take Mother Astankia and try and get revenge against the Skaven here. I'm going to attack this army outside the settlement. It is Throt. There could be a whole other army in the settlement feasibly, but he ran away, so I'm inclined to think that there is not. Yeah, there's just a small army in the settlement. Um, do they have Warp Lightning? I don't believe they have Warp Lightning. Yeah, we got remoldered. They don't have Warp Lightning. I don't see any summons here either, which I think would show up here. So it might be a good opportunity for us to crush the Skaven here. Um, I don't want Throt to run away. I'm going to build a couple of buildings, so it'll make it a little easier for me to get up. Let's continue the siege here. Brat may run away from us, but I don't think he has enough of an army to give me any huge threats. So I think we should be good. And at Plesk, I don't really need the recruiting right now, but I do want income. So I'm going to regear some of my buildings towards income because we're going to need to improve it. Uh, Boris, or, oh, let's go take a look at Kestalton's skill points. There's old Kestalton. Yeah, he's already at level 40. Um, his skill points are honestly not bad. They've already got Renown and Feared, which made his army cheaper for me. Um, and then we can put some of his skill points here. They've unlocked his special skills, so it's not bad. We just need to unlock some some skills that buff the army that we're going to, to roll with, and I will figure that out here shortly. Um, there's probably a few units there that we can go ahead and just cut, but I think um, we'll be all right. Yeah, let's go ahead and end our turn so we can get some skill points. It's going to offer us building upgrades. I'm going to just save my money for a turn. Um, income from all buildings, I think. And I am going to build some more income there. And another commandment available here in Troll Country. We'll do the same thing here. All right, let's end that turn. We got our Patriarch coming down. We had Patriarchs that spawned with Gestalt that might actually be better than this one. I did name this Patriarch Bron Candy, which was in honor of John Candy. And I put Great Outdoors there because that was one of my favorite John Candy movies, uh, The Great Outdoors. So hopefully you all appreciate that one. And then I did rename the Hag Witch as well. Someone had suggested Igor Smirnoff for one of the characters to kind of sound like a vodka name. Um, I went with Igora Smirnoff because it was the Hag Witch, so I tried to feminize that a bit. Um, and then I appreciate we have some other good names for units and stuff uh, that came through in there, so I'll keep an eye on those. Uh, yeah, not surprised. I moved to the other side of the map in Arcane. It's like, I'm going to come back while you're gone. It's all right. Mother Ostank is in a little bit of a ping pong match right now. We are now at war with Malagor. And he's going to turn out and instantly lose to a weak settlement. I don't, this does not make any sense to me whatsoever. But I am here for all of it. Malagor just lost a battle to a small settlement garrison that he could have easily defeated. And all I can do is laugh. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Because it is funny. <laughs> it is funny to me. All right. Let's do a few things here. So I need to get um, Kestalton 
down here to join with these armies. What is this stance? Why is there some reason why I can't join these two armies? I gotta get that off the screen, maybe. All right. Here we go. I'm going to take the Griffin Legion out of this army and put it to use. So let us do that. And let's, well, actually, let's throw the Tsar Guard over there. And they already have a Frost Maiden. So that means we can ditch these Frost Maidens. Well, I'll leave the Frost Maidens in there just for my journey over towards Kislev. Let's take this army over. Again, we may not have any specific theme to Kestalton's army yet. Okay, I'm just going to take some of the crappy units out of Kestalton's army and put good units in their place. He doesn't really have a proper army here, unfortunately. But uh, I'm going to get rid of the Snow Leopard. Not a crappy unit, but just not a unit that's going to do me a lot of favors here. Air Rider or an Armored Kassar? He doesn't really have any infantry in his army, which is a bit of a dangerous situation to be in. But he does have the Streltsy, and they can kind of act like a temporary mainline. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to take these Griffin Legion over to our other army. In the meantime, I might put... Like, just a couple of extra infantry units in here, just to help. I, I don't need a big army here, but I want something that's going to be able to travel safely. Um, let's disband. This will basically fix a lot of our issues as soon as I disband this lord. That'll put us back in the positive. And then we will work on our income here. So we're going to put in the building to get some pottery. And then we need a income, which is going to be this chain right here. We can make good money off that. So that'll better gear them towards income. And then I can put in defenses here and more income. So now we will be able to start kicking up a little bit of income. We got rid of that one army. I think that's the only other armies we picked up from Castalton. Yeah, Ice Cube, Castalton. They're going to ferry over. Man, that is a level 36 Druzina. We should rename this dude Ice Cube and reset his skill points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we'll do. Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and replace this Lord right now so that we can reset his skill points. So I'm going to hit reset skill points. And we'll put a different character in there, even just temporarily. Yeah, just throw this guy in there temporarily. All right, there we go. So that will help us have a better character. Golden Knight gets a skill up here. Um, let's see, Deadly Blade. All right, and then what else do we got here? Boris is going to pick a skill up. We could get Logistician with him, but I kind of want to focus on his insane attack. Or actually, no, we were working on Creatures of the Land to buff up all the, the critters in his army because we've got a good number of them, and that's where his benefits lie. Let's take care of this Ottoman event here. We can get a traditionalist, which is recruit rank or province. Let's do province first. I don't think I'm terribly worried about control, but it'll help help us be in a good spot. Okay, I'm going to swing over here towards the next Wintertooth settlements. I can't quite reach their settlement, frustratingly enough, so I'm going to have to move forward. And then we have got Supreme Patriarch here. Now, we are not at war with the Ecstatic Legions, but I imagine we will be soon. A very difficult time envisioning them not declaring war on me at basically any moment. I can't get to that Beastman army very easily at the moment. It's a little bit frustrating, but we will get them sooner or later. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. 
Drusina. Okay, it doesn't really matter what skills we give to My spear awaits you. characters. Here we've got... What does go with our King Conduit? There we go. So we've done the skill points. We are back in the positive. I am going to spend some money. Like, it's going to be expensive, but I'm going to go ahead and buff up the income as best I can. Let's go look for income opportunities at all of our... So, yep, like that's income right there. The Griffinwood, we get some easy income. I need to improve the defenses at the Griffinwood, but it's not under major threat at the moment, so we'll hold off there. That's income, income. Gold mine built out. Here's a little more income here. These won't be a great return on investment, these second tier buildings, um, but it'll work. Like, it's not going to be the end of the world. Tradable resources in the local province. That's actually pretty good because we have the iron. Not any other tradable resources. Man, these buildings would be handy in certain spots as well if we can get to them. Let's see, Southern Sylvania. Yeah, so like right here. Oh, no, the gold's not a tradable resource, but we do have the wine there. We could start building these and eventually get more tradable resources. There we go. I spent quite a bit of money. I better sit on some because we need to win battles to get most of our money at the moment. All right, we made it through another turn. Uh, we've got a lot of enemies in the vicinity here, so we've got work to do with Mother Estankia. I'm going to go ahead and just auto-resolve this easy settlement battle, and then we've got Throt's army and Archaon's army to deal with, and they will make for a more interesting battle anyway, so I won't waste my time on them. And then uh, Yechich is... Within range here, so we'll go hit that settlement. Again, another auto resolve, relatively easy here. We're gonna occupy that. All right. So Volksgrad now well in control. I'm gonna actually ditch that building because I've kind of got it duplicated in a lot of these places. Then let's take Zarina Katarin and hit this port here. So we've got Wintertooth on the hoof here. They are in trouble. Occupy there. All right, now what we need to do is I need to take this army and I need to force march over here. Follow me to glory by my command. We march. And that'll give me Champion of the mother. Four Griffin Legions Champion to add to this peace. army, so that'll put us at 17 total units. Um, we could put the Bear Rider there. We haven't made use of the Frost Worms yet. So we could put a few Frost Worms in here just to kind of have some fun with those. I think that might be a good one. Let's let's try that. Let's throw some Frost Worm in here. Oh, we also haven't used the um, Incarnate Elemental of Beast. Let's do two Frost Worms and an Incarnate Elemental there, and that'll kind of get that army all finished off. So we have Streltsy, Griffin Legion, I've got... So that'll, that'll be a different kind of army uh, for sure there. we got our Pottery. Let's increase the Pottery. About to get some more income on some of these buildings as well. So that is looking good. Castalton is in a position here where we, we could attack the Ecstatic Legions. Um, is there, there are those whose very their vassal is the Norskin faction right there. So we'd have to deal with them as well. And they might try and come in behind me. So that'd be honestly a bit annoying. I might wait a couple more turns until Zarina Katarin takes out Krakadrak. And then that should put me in a stronger position uh, overall. Let's see, firing drills. That does not improve ice guards. Those are kind of wasted now. We do have best of the court though. Skilled Craftsman. We need to get the upgraded skill points for those guys, too. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff we still need with Zarina Katarin. Let's head over here to Jon Snow. And I think we are going to do... Finish the Cleanse Corruption. Yes, Boris picks up another return. skill point. And let's finish up Creatures of the Land. And I want to do um, an upgraded ability for that, too. Let's see, let's do an upgrade on Heart of Winter. Or actually, let's... No, 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 cancel. Let's do that, and let's grab that Guardian Call so we get a summon there, because that could be handy. 
Okay, Lord not move. So Castalton has not moved. What do I want to do? I mean, I don't want to sit still. I mean, I'm going to end up fighting these guys anyway, sooner or later. Are they allied with the you World Walkers? To behold my beauty. They are defensive that, allies with the World Walkers. So what we could do to make Carl happy, because he's been begging me to join that war. Yes, for that is all I ever want. We could do join the war against the World Walkers. And I'm, I know I could, well, honestly, I, I will try and take a little bit of the money off of him. I did a whole bunch of stuff for free for him earlier, so now he owes me. On it. All right, so that's going to pull us into the war against the World Walkers. And because we're at war with the World Walkers, if I go ahead and declare war on the Ecstatic Legions, it's not Obey. like I, I won't lose that opportunity to kind of befriend Carl a little bit. I am somewhat concerned here, though, that this army is going to swing in behind us down into Aaron. Aaron will be extremely well defended, um, but Castle Alexandrov, Fort Ostrosk, all these other places will not be. Castle Alexandrov has a special building here. Let's take a look at that. Provides a garrison of Zargard and Griffin Legion and unlocks the recruitment of them as well. So we definitely want to take advantage of that when the time comes along. Um, let's go ahead and attack this army here. You remind me of Trinavanti's killer. Sorrow Winter Teeth. Okay, no I one really joined them there. We were already at war with everybody except for Sorrel, I believe. I'm going to attack this unit outside the settlement. If we can pull their army outside the settlement, I can probably kill them. They have Festus reinforcing them because, again, I have the Recruit Defeated Legendary Lords mod on, and it works for the AI as well as it does me, so they have the opportunity to recruit Defeated Lords, so... Bear that in mind. We're up against a lot of Chosen here. I mean, that is an incredible amount of Chosen. I do have these Patriarchs, which feasibly would be good, and Kostalton would be good uh, as well. They've got a Wizard here with Metal. That's going to be annoying. We do have a Cannon, and they do not. So I should be able to, to pound on them from long range. Uh, let's go ahead and fight this. See what we can do. All right, the battle is started. I'm trying to kill off these initial chaos leaders who were here. Um, I want to get them completely dead. Their reinforcements are coming from behind, and I am moving. Um, I'm moving my forces away from the enemy reinforcements because I want to destroy them as best as possible from long range. So, like, I'm gonna move way back here where Little Grom has a good wide open lane to fire on them in um, and then because their reinforcements are coming in from back here so I've got my, my troops moving through all we're doing is just finishing off that chaos leader he's just getting bumped around right now like I said as is kind of typical for typical for uh, AI units at this point we're going to await reinforcements we got that lord and I'm going to take Group two, finish that guy off. Group three, I'm going to get ready to um, harass the incoming reinforcements. I got to make sure that there's nothing terribly dangerous for me coming in here. I got to see. Uh, those Chaos Knights are a little bit scary. They could be fast enough to catch me potentially. Um, so we'll want to keep some, some units around for support. But ideally, like I said, we're going to back up and give our ranged units uh, maximum range with which to work. We have just about gotten rid of Ragnar here. He's being chased by three Frost Worms, Castalton, and two Patriarch. Kind of a advanced goon squad there. And this goon squad should have a considerable amount of healing if the AI has done things right. They have not, unfortunately. That guy doesn't have heals on him, so we'll have to fix that. This guy doesn't have heals on him, so we'll have to fix that. Castalton does have heals. So... All right, here comes the, the enemy troops. Our armies are falling back. This thing debuffs speed, so we'll have to keep that in mind. My Frost Maiden can debuff speed as well. All right, we got some Seeker Chariots headed our way. Let's start shooting at them. Uh, I'm going to turn Fire at Will on. Seeker Chariots are quite fast. They're not a considerable threat to my War Sleds, though. But what we don't want to do is get engaged too close to enemy um, reinforcements because we don't want to give them an opportunity 
Ooh, yeah, good damage there. I'm gonna pop those secret chariots again. I don't have a lot of war sleds in this army, um, so we're a little bit lower on numbers than them than we would normally be. Oh, run away. I'm gonna go ahead and slow those chariots down. I don't wanna get caught right here. Those chariots are fast. Okay. Looks like that's a ground effect thing there because it slowed those units down. All right, hey, just everybody get back over here. There we go. Little Grom is now giving some fire support here. Oh, we don't want to get hit by friendlies though, which Little Grom may have hit us. All right, we've got a lot of bad guys inbound. Like I said, hopefully Little Grom is not going to hit us with friendly fire. There is an enemy exalted hero following me at the moment. And here in a second, I may turn around and face him with this group. But for now, I want to just kind of keep luring him back. I've got better units for killing them available back here. That's going to include some guns here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Laid down some brutal fire there, and then let's tell little Grom to pick himself another new target. I'm going to pull the sleds back around and, and go give that exalted hero another round of brutal pain here, hopefully. He got he got lit up by my Streltsy. Streltsy, of course, can do some very, very heavy range damage. They're not amazing in melee, but they're not bad. Uh, they've got their armor. They can last a little bit depending on what they're up against. I'm trying to just use little Grom to help add some pressure to things here. Like I said, we can start targeting enemy units from across the map, and I'm going to go do some more luring here. Getting rid of this exalted heroes. Certainly going to do a some, ooh, nice hit on those. Little Gromski's already got 20 some odd kills here. I really want to kill off that exalted hero in totality. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, come on, you're telling me not a single shot hit there? Alright, well, the exalted hero is going to get away from me at the moment. Alright, Grom did excellent work. The AI is just back here um, reforming their lines. We'll definitely want to kill off Festus, the Leech Lord, quickly. Oh, here comes some more willing customers. Let's save our ammo on those, those Chaos Knights. Those are a great target for Grom. They're rather large and pretty hard to miss. And when Grom's cannonball catches them, it does tremendous, tremendous damage. You can see Grom there, 55 kills already. And those Chaos Knights are heavily armored. Very tough units. Let's let our uh, Streltsy give them a cold welcome to Kislev here as well. There we go. That has probably changed their mind. I'm going to bring my war bear riders out here. Intercept that knight, or at least keep them from being able to just directly charge my Streltsy right now as my objective. Worked very, very well. Let's go find some more victims. And continue to piecemeal kill off this army. Uh, Grom can probably hold fire for a moment. Let's go find the next willing victims here. There's a Gore Beast Chariot off to my left. Certainly be a worthy target. Festus is going to be able to heal a significant amount. What do we have here? Okay, those Chaos Knights are back. We better turn around because our sleds are very, very slow. I'm just going to fire at will. With the bears and try and again lure in some enemies, I'm going to take a War Bear Rider. I'm going to make sure that my... My bear units are kind of ready to back up my Streltsy. Because the Streltsy are going to be our weak spots in the line. There we go. Let's keep pulling these guys back in ever closer. 
we're just gonna have to use all of our resources to good effect here. Actually gonna get some frost worms on standby here as well. Do something like this, kind of split up some of my other units and get them ready to go. All right, yep, Gorby's Chariot is on the way in. Let's see if we can continue to lure it, because that's an excellent target to take out early. Very deadly towards our Zargar, very deadly towards our Streltsy. I'm going to once again try and form right through my line here and let my Streltsy put some big hits on those, those Chariots, hopefully. Yep, there they go. Yep, both Streltsy units opening fire, so the Gorbis Chariot taking significant damage. I'm going to charge out and just... Okay, yep, no, it can't get to me. So we're going to go ahead and fall back. So again, this is just a game of... It's just a game of hit and run at the moment. All right, so we got rid of a Gorbis Chariot. Our flank will be protected. All right, yeah, we've got everything in position here. Let's get, uh, I forgot to get Grom to open back up again. Um, I need to, f oh crap, we got hit by trolls. They're gonna poison me. That sucks. Our sleds just got hit pretty hard right there. Okay. Um, I need a war bear rider intervention at the ready because we're about to get charged here. And we're about to get charged there. So let's intercede in a couple spots. And counter charge here. Counter charge, counter charge. Let's fall back with the Streltsy. Okay. And I'm going to fall back with the Streltsy here. Move the Zargard that way. Let's bring in some bears to help in that fight. Okay, all right, things are starting off pretty well. When we get a big enough blob together, I'll want to drop a Frozen Heart. Well, we don't have any more magic reserves, so unfortunately, Frozen Heart of Winter is not an option. I can Death Frost right here. Um, Streltsy go for the Giants. Ice Guard there. And we've got to pick our targets wisely here. We are being approached by some halberds over here that are very deadly. We are gonna get overwhelmed here, I believe. And in a big hurry. Yeah, our bears are getting absolutely face punched right now. I'm gonna have to pull that unit back. Not having a frozen heart of winter here may be enough to potentially cost me this battle, which I am quite concerned about. Start popping off all the... Why did that not work? Thank you. There we go. I'm going to start popping off some abilities. We did get rid of the giant over here. And I'm going to have to start firing ice guard over there. Doing everything I can, though we are running out of units to cover me. One of my guys is getting a little bit roasted in there. Let's pull him out. Festus is tied up with a bunch of really tough infantry. I actually think we can probably pull this one off. Seize what magic I have to do some work on. Yeah, my Streltsy is now really burying this grouping over here. And I've got the Ice Guard firing in there as well. Yeah, let's send our sleds up here. Indeed. I need another Streltsy Moving. to get to work over Moving. here. Yeah, we we're getting tons of kills with this Streltsy right there. We're still struggling to kind of finish the game here, though. Let's see if we can help get rid of Festus a little quicker. And then I'm going to bring my sleds over here. I'm going to try and pour some more fire into that fight. Let's just keep the pressure up. I think we've almost got him here. Yep, we got him. Awesome. Okay. So we were able to kind of to finish the game here. 
And the more of these units we can kill on the way out the door, the better. Rotters of Slanish. I'm gonna kind of split some of these units up and give chase to some of these more valuable units. Let's get Gestalten. And let's just go follow up some of these routing units that are fleeing. We're gonna look for the tougher units here. And get our quick moving units into the fight here. So we got Chosen that are fleeing out. Let's get these sleds moving. There's a few Chosen with Halberds here. But, man, fortunately our Streltsy, like, our Streltsy did some, some serious work there. Um, this Streltsy right here picked up 90 kills, but, I mean, just did tremendous damage against that grouping. If it weren't, weren't for them, that flank probably would have collapsed. Like, I don't, I don't think we could have pulled that one off. I'm going to try and eat up some of these Chosen. I'm still attacking Festus here as well. And what else do we got going on? This is a Marauder Great Weapon. Marauder Chaos Trolls. I'm not really that worried about those units. Let's just... Uh, there's a Chosen Halberds over here. Let's go get that unit. Yeah, I'm just trying to follow up on some of these more, um, more capable Chaos units. Let's make sure these units are not in... I'm going to take them off of a defensive stance because they keep losing their attack orders. Okay. Let's go finish that fight. Alright. Got units chasing. I will see you all back on the campaign map. I'm going to finish this one up. That was a pretty good pull. We, we only lost one unit there, and it's frustrating because that was a triple gold Chevron Bear Rider. Um, but, I mean, fortunately, we didn't lose anything else because it was a big fight. We picked up a lot of cash off of that fight. Um, and, I mean, interesting. Let's let's take a look at some of the gold values on some of these units. I mean, this look at that Streltsy there. 2493, 2909. I mean, that's impressive. They outperformed the Ice Guard pretty easily there. Um Good work put in by Castalton. Um, Little Grom getting some excellent value. Nice value on the Frost Worms, all things considered. And then good value out of the sleds as well. So I'm going to take the replenishment here. Uh, well, actually, the replenishment's going to do very, very little. Um, I, I guess I'll take it. I think we can just waltz into the settlement, but I could be wrong. Yeah, we can waltz on into the settlement at this point and just take it. And then we'll start replenishing there. The Tower of Crack. Was that a message? Gift of Slanesh, remove factions, destroy. Wow, we destroyed the Ecstatic Legions. That was their their last holdout. And we actually have the opportunity to make some pretty good money here. There's no trade goods there, unfortunately. But we can uh, get some other stuff started here and kind of turn this into a, a real potential stronghold for us. And what else do we want to put in here? Probably bears. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll turn the Tower of Crack into a stronghold. We've got to get rid of the other factions that were over there. We're hurrying these guys over. Yechich and took another one there. And Mother Astankia is replenishing. So unassigned skill points. Let's take care of those. That's going to be Castalton's army. And with Castalton, um, we have a lot of frost worms in the army, and they get buffed by this as well. So we're going to do a Creatures of the Land um, buff with Castalton, and then we'll probably want to do firing drills just to help those couple of Streltsy. I could change those Zargard to additional Streltsy just to give that army some interesting firepower, but the Zargard do give us some very important oh, crap, and they don't have Salulix Lullaby there. That's... This is this is typical AI. We picked Tor's Battle Hymn, and then I picked Healer up here in order to buff the lullaby that I didn't pick. That is just unbelievably stupid. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just reset the skill points on these these guys because AI has kind of ruined them here. We can get a triple heal going on if we reset them. So unfortunate as that is, I'm gonna have to wound those guys and just kind of spend a couple of turns 
without them, um, which we should be able to to hold out. Uh, let's take a look. We got an Ottoman thing here. It's gonna be Horus Ice Court Informer. I don't know that either one of those is particularly useful for there, but another unassigned skill point here for Ice Maiden. Or sorry, Frost Maiden. Definitely want Arcane Conduit. Magical Reserves, we're good to go. Let's put these points into scouting because we could always use more weapons at this point. Since we have a building upgrade available, but I'm going to wait a turn or so. Got Commandments available at Volksgrad. Let's do the increased income. And then let's skip through here and end ourselves a turn. See if we can take some more enemy territory. We are definitely on a roll now. I do believe we need to... I have to go look at my ultimate victory conditions. I think we need to extinct our Kaon. He's probably on the hit list. Um, and otherwise, I'm guessing we're probably headed in the right direction in terms of who to get rid of. Wow, uh, Skaven couldn't even take a small settlement from me. That was an impressive blunder on their part. Uh, our Kaon's going to finish the job for him, but Mother Estanky is going to come back through there and kick the crap out of both of them. And I'm not sure that Throt has a whole lot more hidey holes. He may have one more. Yep, there's our Kaon to finish up what Throt could not. I didn't intend to rhyme there, but it, it is the way that ended up. Looks like our Kaon just uh, destroyed it and moved on. Didn't actually head towards our other territory where he could have actually. Okay, so Clan Mulder's destroyed. Malagor the Dark Omen popped back out. I knew he was hiding somewhere. So he's trying to go find um, unguarded settlements. That's what he's up to. However, I don't think he's going to find a whole lot of anything easy down here unless he increases his forces first. I don't think I left anything particularly unguarded down here. Yeah, it's, it's not. Like, we have a pretty significant horse in our south uh, we got one more turn to finish recruiting here we're going to drop off those uh, griffin legion and then i'm going to disband that army or i don't know i may keep that army in case we need to pop another one up quickly is our other druzina ready for action again yeah let's go take a look and see we are the land and the land is us one more turn and then we can change that guy's name to ice cube who was our Druzina, but he's going to be way higher level, um, which means that we get a quicker start with them. Should be a lot more fun. We just need to knock out... Karak flag. Okay, so all of these through here ought to be our target with Boris, and we can just kind of head this way. I'm going to actually head that way. And go into an ambush stance. Move out here. And then we're going to move this way and get ready to siege Krakadrak. Because <laughs> Stoughton is going to need to get another unit of bears. I could drop a unit of bears and get an extra unit of infantry, which would potentially be helpful in this army because I already have quite a few beasts um, at hand and I'm going to have a, you know quite a few single entities at hand. I mean, we could get the Watchmen in the Night. That's a pretty cool unit. They have Frostbite, but they don't have the armor piercing. But uh, let's just grab them for now because it's a quick recruit. And then when we get our two Patriarchs back, we'll throw them in there. Um, and then, like I said, so we have made our move. Got another Ottoman event here. Fiscally Prudent is always a good one. Make some extra cash. And then let's check out. Yep, we've regeared. We're starting to pick up some extra income there. Extra income here. Obey. And let's go some more income there as well. So we are in solid shape here. Solid shape indeed. Um, Mother of Stankia can make her move. And we're just going to come back in here and retake our fort and then push against our Kaon. Our Kaon doesn't really have a good angle on me from over here anymore. We should be able to start to focus him now that the Skaven and other factions won't be able to act as like an active distraction on his behalf, which is basically what they were doing. Okay, we spent our money and Gestalten is going to stay put for a turn. 
Wintertooth could come after us, but Franz has a lot of armies looking at them. Sarl, I would assume, may be sailing towards us or coming around after us as well. So we'll just kind of keep an eye out here. Make our way through one more turn in. I had a bit of a short episode last time, so I'll try and have this one be just a hair longer. We'll make up for it. Oh, I need to go look at those victory conditions. I mean, I love me some Kislev campaign. I don't really get tired of Kislev campaign. I love their units. I love their play style, their buildings. The fact that we have Druzina and these other additions that came in with the Shadows of Change. Um, I like uh, Kislev is feeling fun. Like they they are definitely feeling fun. They've got a lot of fun options. OK, so Malagor is going to kill himself on the Nagenhof garrison. Appreciate his lunch money there. So we don't have to chase him down anymore. So again, that was that's well done. Well done. All right, that got rid of his faction as well. So let's take a look at our victory objectives. And we haven't had to worry about the ultimate victory yet because we haven't had that. But if we destroy the war host and the Legion of Chaos and just get more territory, we would get the ult or the the campaign victory. Um, Sarina Katarin has crack a drac in her sights, and we'll probably end the episode there. It's going to be a relatively easy take. Occupy crack a drac will be a lucrative settlement for us because of the gemstone mine, and then I'm going to tear down this building and put in some garrisons. But yeah, our income is starting to already climb right back after we came down from that confederation. Horus is back in action here. Yeah, Wintertooth is in serious trouble over we here. Are they are not going to be able to stop Horus from rolling up Horus. their flank here. And then our Druzina is back, I believe. So if we replace this guy, we have that level 36 Druzina here. And we are going to... Rename him in just a second. Actually, we can do that right now. So this is going to be Ice Cube. All right. Um, and now we can start picking special abilities and other stuff that we want to do. So Restock is a cool ability here. We definitely want to have that. Hag Witches get regeneration in the army. That's cool because we have a Hag Witch there. So let's do that. Or hang on. What was the other? Veneration of the Bear... Billy Urson's Roar. Yeah, yeah. No, that's the right one. We picked the right one. So Tal's Judgment is a special missile thing. We get extra missile strength. Wish we had something here that buffs Streltsy. Casualty replen rate is good, and that gives us a better line of sight. I think we kind of have to get all of these to unlock that one. And then let's do Route Marcher, Reassuring Presence. Drop one in Fervent. Draftmaster, Quartermaster, Lightning Strike, Ran Out of Feared. And then we want to have Inspiring Presence. And the army for this guy is Streltsy, Ice Guard, and Griffin Legion. So Relentless Chargers will get the Griffin Legion. So that'll give us charge bonus and speed not an amazing buff for them but it's a buff this one will buff up our streltsies reload time reduction and melee defense best of the court will buff up our ice guard there and then let's go ahead and do relentless chargers and then if i do rally Skirmisher Traditions will hit my Ice Guard and Streltsy. And then Horse Masters will hit my Griffin Legion with extra speed, charge bonus, missile resistance. So there we go. We've given them the biggest buffs that we can. We could also pop Mentor over there, which we probably should do. And then we can start working on the self-skill tree here so yeah getting that Druzina is helpful because now we're going to have this gift is a much more though. powerful character to get things going and this Temple army is now going to be ready to honor go honor. so let's go ahead and transfer the griffin legion 
So Ice Cube now has a relatively unique army that we haven't really put to use yet. And I about half wonder if we should. Yeah, I'm going to start marching this way. And then this army, uh, there's no need to disband it anymore, though we may want to have a different lord at its head. It's another Druzina, though, um, which Druzina would be fun. I have this Frost Maiden, level 20, 27, double Frost Maiden here, and they're both Lore of Ice. I'm not sure if that's going to be, like, I might bring one of those. Well, I already have a Frost Maiden there. Don't need a Frost Maiden there. I don't know. I might just leave the double Frost Maiden and have some fun with it for now. Um, probably best off to have a Patriarch in there for the extra heals. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack here, and we'll see whether Archaeon comes after us. We'll just recolonize here. I would imagine we're going to get Archaeon's attention here at just about any moment. I think that's going to be all the time after this episode. Let's take care of Boris's skill points here. We finished Creatures of the Land, um, so that's going to buff, I believe, our bears. We haven't buffed the Zargard. And Skilled Craftsman will go for our sleds so let's do the sleds here the great bear rewards me and let's see scouting is good Sarina Katarin picks up more skill points we want to get to arcane conduit for her we've also got mentor and it'd be good to keep spreading the skill points yeah. around because we've got a lot of younger lords that need that fiction All right, we finished Deadly Blade. I want to get this Foe Seeker and open up Tenacity and this other stuff, so I'm going to go with full plate armor there. And then Mother of Stankia. Um, we're closing in on the Arcane Conduit with her. And that's going to be it, folks. We are making excellent progress there. We have definitely... definitely picked up um, some really useful... Oh, we have another Ottoman we can get here as well. Yeah, our army hasn't moved at Tower of Crack. I'm kind of waiting on my heroes. I think they've still got two turns. No, one turn. So we're, we're going to wait one more turn to get those heroes back. And then we'll move on with that army. But I do believe we can select another Ottoman here. Black Blood Pass. We could put one in at Bear Pit. Or um, Giant Home Mountains is going to make good income, I think, once we get all that stuff online. Just looking at some of our higher income areas here to make sure that we have them covered. We do River Links. Um, I think. I think we have a better income potential there. Okay. Defy. Yeah, because I've got the gemstones and I haven't even built all the income buildings here that I can yet. So, all right, folks, I'm going to leave it here. I will see you on the next episode. Air of Carthage, signing out.